Welcome to the DeLorme tutorial to load imagery on the PN series. This tutorial is designed to walk you through the process of setting up, selecting, saving, and exporting the data to the PN. Special credit to Mountain Bike with geocaching.com for spearheading and maintaining the Northwest Trails project located at switchbacks.com. This is a Pacific Northwest community driven project to catalog and make accurate tracks available to Garmin and DeLorme users. Special credit to Nabane for spearheading the DeLorme Atlas and Gazetteer page boundaries located in the Topo USA file exchange in the DeLorme forums. The two draw layers used in this tutorial are derived from these two projects. So the first thing that you want to do is decide what section you want to cut. Uh, these file sizes are uh, can get rather large for uh, raster sizes. Maximum file size is no larger than 1.2 gigabytes. I tend to keep mine a little smaller, um, just as a matter of personal preference. So w the first thing I'm going to do is select the uh, layers that I'm interested in, which is the Northwest Trails, Washington Lines, Trails, and then once this loads, I'm going to go down and load the uh, page boundaries. Now the page boundaries, what this does as an overlay, uh, provides me page boundaries of the actual paper-based gazetteer and uh, the page numbers associated with them. This takes a little while. Okay, both layers are loaded, so now I'm going to go to the handheld export um, and uh, select what I want to use. First, I make sure that I have the appropriate grid size. I use the one minute uh, tile size, not the 12 second. Uh, the one minute allows me to do um, big selections of uh, land areas while having a high enough resolution that I want for the specific area that I'm selecting. So the uh, process is the same as using uh, for, net for downloading from Netlink. You can select individual tiles or you can drag and drop uh, your mouse selection to select large areas. You want to make a rectangular or square selection without stair steps like what you see right here. Um, the stair steps tend to uh, create uh, problems and end up corrupting the files which end up unreadable for the uh, PN. Uh, some people have been able to create the stair step uh, files. More times than not, uh, problems have been associated with them. So I have my selection uh, selected. I want to go into the options and make sure that I have both the draw layers. I'm going to go after less detail because there's not too many POIs I'm going to be interested in in this particular area. And I make sure my zoom levels are set. I use the color aerial, so I make sure that's set along with the appropriate zoom levels. And USGS quads. This is the 1 by 24K uh, uh, scale uh, USGS quad maps. Uh, I prefer to use this over the topo vectorized maps because it has certain key features in it that have been typically abandoned by the vectorized data. Uh, so once I make sure everything's uh, selected uh, in my options and the zoom levels are set, I go ahead and say OK to that. And then I name the area, in this case, uh, for the mountain that I'm working with, which is Lichtenwasser. And then I do a save. But before I do, notice here on the right-hand side, selected grids is uh, 32 tiles. And the included data, if available, is selected or is the USGS quads, the 3DTQ, color aerial imagery, which is also known as CDOQQ, and draw layers. Now, this doesn't mean that you automatically gain these for your PN if you have not taken the time to download this information from Netlink. So if you haven't downloaded it from Netlink, then you don't have the data to be able to cut to the PN, therefore it's not going to happen. Uh, this uh, just says these are the options that, I've, that I have selected. So I go ahead and do a save, and then the process begins. And it goes in the order as listed in the Information tab. This has actually been time-lapsed 
Um, it takes a little time to save CDO QQs, and the more tiles you uh, want to save, the more time it's going to take. Uh, right now, it's almost complete on the CDO QQ. Uh, it takes a little time for Topo to refresh all the data and uh, give a new view. Now, if you're interested to see what your cut may uh, encompass, you can highlight the, the layer that you've created and click on the view and then it will highlight the area that you've uh, copied over with the package and as you will note the package Lichtenwasser now the output package size is 115 megabytes and can a contains the three files uh, the draw file, the CDOQQ and the uh, USGS topo maps so with that being done um, I can connect the GPS Okay, with the uh, file selected and the GPS in the map data transfer mode or map transfer mode, I'll select the exchange button and you'll notice the EarthMate PN series is not available. It's currently set to transfer map packages only. So I will select the EM user maps, which is the internal drive or the internal memory on the GPS. You'll see that the map packages come up as visible now and then I can select the save map packages on the left hand side and go to Lichtenwasser and then send off uh, the map package to the internal memory this way this is a very slow process I wouldn't really recommend doing this I would uh, do it through Windows Explorer and transfer the map that way and I'll show you in just a moment I am now going to set the uh, GPS into uh, exchange mode and I will show you what it looks like that way. And you'll notice that now the Earth Mate PN40 is visible. It shows all the waypoints, tracks, routes, and map packages. And then I can select on the left side the Lichten Wasser once more and send it off that way, which is even slower. You don't want to do this. So I happen to have the uh, mobile maps directory open and I also have the removable disk uh, SD card in the card reader and you'll notice in my path uh, I'm a little bit more customized in my installation that my do Delorme docs slash mobile maps is deep in my documents uh, directory uh, this is where I place all my mapping information at so I have a one-stop shop for all the programs that I run now what I do is um, I go down to Lichtenwasser You'll notice there are three files for Lichtenwasser. I will copy those to the SD card. And this only takes just a couple of minutes. And once this finishes transferring, I'll show you some screenshots of the uh, uh, what it shows or what it looks like on the PN. But uh, once this is complete, uh, you go ahead and remove the SD card from the card reader and install it onto the PN and you're good to fly for the region that you just uh, cut for. Hope you enjoyed this and we'll uh, chat at you later.